Hello again YouTube. Well there's lots we could catch up on with the new workshop that we've been setting up over the past few months and the house move that's also been dominating my time but I did say in the last video that we would talk about hinges so I'm going to do that coming back to the oak job that I showed you pictures of at the start of this video but focusing first on the first renovation project in this new house my daughter's bedroom. This was a complete room renovation. I shared detail about the stair renovation repainting etc on Instagram stories which is where you can often find that sort of ongoing content that's at Freebird Interiors but in this video we're going to focus on the choice of hinge hardware. So if you're a bit of a carpentry geek like me and somebody who aspires to design things reasonably well then you probably find yourself looking not just at the shape of things and the and interior design ideas but also as a technically minded person you want to look at the best hardware for a given job. And that in the past has drawn me to a company called Sugatsune. Because you can't have well-designed fitted furniture without appropriate hardware. And in this case, just like that oak job, I've gone with the Sugatsune Olympia hinge range. Now, I've been talking about Sugatsune hardware for some time now, a few years, and it's only right I mention that that's come to Sugatsune's attention, and they do now send me things that suit a particular project. So I only use them if I think it's the right thing to use, and we do have an arrangement, so that's why there's a paid promotion tag to this video. Now, this hinge is also Sugatsune, but not the Olympia range, and has some very spe special features. And this hardware here, which I'll be fitting later, is another lovely thing that I just want to show you, which will probably pop up in a later video. But forgive me, let's get back on track. We will get back to that special hinge, but the Olympia hinge range is like their flagship range, which frankly, they're trying to compete with Blamon. The first distinctive that I've come to really appreciate about these hinges as a fitter is that unlike Blum and most other clip-on hinges, these will push on from the front and click on. So if you've engaged the upper hinges and you've got that last one that just hasn't clicked on, you can push it on. The Blum ones and similar have to hook on from the front. So they've got to be a little bit forward, engage into a hook and then pop back. These have a much more forgiving engaging mechanism. Secondly, for a door that's near a wall, especially like this where we've got fragile wallpaper and I don't want the hinge to be hitting up against that. So Gatsuni have what I think is a unique design of opening angle restrictor. What I've done in this one here is I've added a an opening angle limiter. Now that is something that you can get for Blum, but the Blum version, sadly I don't actually have one with me, the Blum version is just a very fiddly little black clip that would drop in there after the, after the hinge is mounted into a little crescent shaped space that's left there with the cup drilled hole. Onto the Sugatsune variation though, so same idea, but the benefit of the Sugatsune way of doing it is it's a clip that you can pre-mount and it even has a little guide of how you do it. Number one goes up into that bit there. The number two, you just press it down and it clips in. And what that does is as it closes, it just provides a stop. So these hinges from Sugatsune, they normally open to 105 degrees because generally it's quite nice when doors open a little bit beyond 90, but with that, that packer of plastic in the way there, it stops at 85 degrees, so it won't knock up against something um, and it'll stay within, within the 90 degrees. A third feature that I've come to really like as a fitter is the little hole there through the front of the mounting plate, which just provides a precise position that you, will know, you know will be hidden by the hinge arm to join a scribe or an adjoining unit. Nice little design feature. Also, the Mounting plates as standard have an onboard up and down adjustment, which is accessed through a hole in the hinge. Now, I shouldn't forget to mention one of the flagship features of the product is a five stage damping mechanism. This is a rotary damper. It's hardware that is tried and tested under the lamp brand by Sugatsune. They are specialists in, uh, in dampers for sort of lid stays and things like that, both small and industrial duty, heavy duty level. So this damper has five little clicks that you can adjust to increase or reduce the soft close. And as you saw in that, that video with the 
glass door, you can get a really beautiful soft close if you just get the adjustment right. So going back to the oak job, the reason that I selected the Olympia hinge range for that glass door was they had a particularly nice matte black cover plate, which is better than the, the round alternatives that, that Blum did. So that again seemed to be a distinctive. I should let you know that um, the cutting of the glass for that project was particularly exacting. Dimensions given in the Olympia brochure for glass cutting um, had very well didn't, didn't have any tolerance, which according to the glass manufacturer was a little unusual. So there's always little things you can get caught out on with new hardware, but the end result was really good. Now this hinge, so this is not the Olympia range, this is one of the many hinges that Sugatsune already did. It has a unique stop mechanism, which I felt I might just need for this door, because with the mirror on it, which I forgot to clean for this video, <laughs> with the mirror on it, I wanted my daughter to be able to stand in the light, stand back, and just get the angle just right for standing in what is quite a small room, making full use of the mirror, and I knew that had to be more than your typical 90 or 110 degree hinge position, but I was concerned that a 170 degree hinge might just hit the sloping ceiling. So, quite a specific scenario, but here is a hinge that can cope with that scenario because it's a wide opener, but it has an integrated stop. So you turn this wheel and you can extend or retract that little threaded screw. Of course, you have to do them all the same on every hinge, but according to where that's projecting, it will stop against the metal in there and provide a very precise stop point. So you can decide exactly how far you want that door to open. That is another one just to keep in your, your arsenal of options as a fitted furniture maker. Now the downsides of the Olympia hinge range are that I generally would prefer to use it only for 18 millimeter doors, not 22 millimeter and bigger. Now we generally do 22 millimeter doors. As it happens, the design I was experimenting with on this job, I did this rebate feature that just provided a border for all the doors and drawer fronts. And that effectively moved the 22 millimeter panels down to 18 millimeter at the edge. Now, I'm not saying that the hinges wouldn't cope with 22 millimeters. They, they do, but it's just on the edge of what they cope with without binding. Whereas your standard Blum clip top hinge will, will cope with thicker doors. So that's something to be aware of. And the other thing that is just a bit unfortunate for the UK market is when you put a hinge like this on, the zero position before you've adjusted it brings it right tight up against or even slightly beyond tight up against what it's what it's against there. Now I'm talking about using 18 millimeter thick carcass material. That's my standard and I think most people's standard. But it appears that in Japan, your standard carcass is a 20 millimeter thick board. Now I'm feeding this back to Sugatsune and with a bit of luck, they'll release a mounting plate that deals with that by just throwing the, the hinge a little bit further in at its standard position. I think the only other downside I've found is for the inset variation, which we use in our standard alcove cabinets, we don't put the door inset within the frame. We just use the inset feature to come this way and it still closes against the frame. So although it would fit in the closed position, as it opens, the geometry of the swing sort of brings the back edge back and it fouls on the frame. So again, as a carpentry geek, you get into these details, it's important to specify the right thing and to avoid problems like this. And that's something that has unfortunately discounted the inset Olympia hinge from our standard usage in alcove cabinets. We still use the Blum. 
But setting those things aside, I really do like this hinge. Thanks for watching, and if you want to contact Sugatsune, again, look in the description underneath the YouTube video, and you should have all the contacts you need there. <laughs>